So this video is to help all the cellos that have their first lesson today review the whole cello. So you'll be able to look at the, um, the book that you have in the front and it's going to tell you all the different parts of the cello, but this is just a helpful reminder. So you know that the cello has the whole body, right? We talked about that before and the body has ribs. So you know that this is the body and these are the ribs. The very bottom of the cello, we already talked about this, we have our end pin and that's what you use to adjust the height of your cello. When you're sitting down with your knees apart, your cello should be on your left shoulder, right, by your left shoulder, up against your chest, right, the body of the cello should rest up against your chest. You should be, on, all, you should be seated, if you're playing cello, your feet should be flat on the floor, you should be at the edge of your chair because good posture really matters when you come to play. Um, the pegs, which we talked about before, the pegs should be kind of by your left ear. So make sure that you adjust your end pin a little bit longer if necessary, or shorter if you feel like it's too high, make sure that it's just right, okay? Um, a couple other parts we reviewed of the cello. We have this black part called the fingerboard, and it's called the fingerboard because that's where our fingers go. We talked about the scroll, and that's where the pegs sit inside in the peg box. Um, we talked about this right here, this um, tan piece of wood called the bridge, which really connects the tailpiece to the fingerboard, and that's where the strings sit. We also talked about the F holes, which is where the sound comes out, and the sound post that helps create all the sounds that we can make on our instrument. Um, now that we've talked about a little review of that, I also want to review the strings. So you have your lowest string, right? This is going from right to left. You have your lowest string, which is C. Then your next string moving over to your left is G. Then your next string moving over to your left again is D. And then your final string, the highest string you have is A. So we're going to use our right hand. We made that L, right? We're gonna put it on the fingerboard and we're going to pluck with our index finger. Those exercises that you had, the let's play open D, Remember we talked about music having a steady pulse, like a heartbeat, so make sure you don't speed up or slow down, and make sure on the rests, we have silence, okay? Ready? Let's play open D. One, two, ready, and D, 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 rest. D, 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 rest. D, 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 rest. Um, that silence is really important and remember that to pluck the string you just take the string and you pull it like that let's go to let's play open a so you're going to your very last string ready one two ready and to choose a team which now combines both strings. Ready and D, D, rest. A, 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 rest. And then you can go to at Pierrot's door which combines them with difficult rhythms. So let's really make sure that we do this together. Ready? And D, 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 exercises on the next page that I'm going to let you do by yourself um, because I really think that you can practice them on your own after having this little mini lesson. Okay, happy practicing!